If you're going to be the fun mom or the fun grandma, you do need a few of those last minute Halloween tricks up your sleeve. So we'll throw a few your way. Pick up just one idea from our list, pair it with a pizza, order in some takeout, and you will get credit for being a holiday loving homemaker. Michelle Inkley is here to help a girl out. By the time you get the costumes together, sometimes these last minute details feel like, no way, yeah. don't have the bandwidth to pull it off. You're exhausted, yeah. frankly. You just don't wanna do it. But these are pretty easy to do. Some are, you have all the things already. Yeah. It's a no brainer. Your kids will feel special. Your grandkids will love you. It's really a fun, easy way to make them feel special. And to nail the fun mom title, yes. right? To nail it. It's always great to do it at a holiday. Yes. It just, yeah, gets your cred up a little bit. Well, I am giggling just looking at these fun ideas. Should we start with some food? Yes, okay. So charcuterie trays are all the thing, but what if we have candy, right? Because the kids <laughs> need all more sugar. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so it would be so much fun just to go, I mean, all of this stuff is from Trader Joe's and Walmart's and just your grocery stores and put together a cute little candy tray, a charcuterie board for them. Listen, it's the Super presentation. Yes. Mom puts a platter, grandma puts a plate of candy on the table and you are instantly yeah. it. You are the queen of the day. You're it. So I'm just saying something as easy as just throwing Throwing things on a tray can make you like the winner okay. in their ideas. If you have a little more time to play with your kids, it is so much fun to do the little Oreo bugs that mm -hmm. we've seen that mm -hmm. are so easy. Tanner made these. Good job, Tanner. So, yeah, we did that the other day, and it was so easy to stick those. I liked the mini little um, pretzels instead of the bigger ones. These are mini ones. Oh, the skinny legs. They're the skinny legs, yeah. So they just go in a little bit easier. You sculpted the calves. You gave the <laughs> you spider know. some leggy. <laughs> yeah, we're okay. making her a little bit, her gown's Dainty. gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. Or something like this, Brooke, I'm gonna what have you do this. this. <gasps> this is a witch's broom, but just with your store-bought donuts. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cute? That is so fun. You can use a dowel or a skewer and it's just a little bit of raffia. Okay, show me, show me, yeah, show yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, In fact, I'm gonna have you do it. So okay. it's just raffia, you can buy it at the, well, I have all this stuff, but you know, if you're not a crafter, if Michael's. If your house isn't, you know, Michael's 2.0, then go to the craft <laughs> then store. Then go to the craft store, they have okay, all of the easy things. Yes. A little bit of wire. Okay. So we'll just wire that oh, on. you almost need four hands. Grab a friend, there phone you go. a friend. Well, your kids, you'll be doing it with yeah, your that's kids. True. And then just tie on a bow. And kids. it's that easy. You could make like 10 of them and just serve donuts. You don't need all the candy. Maybe you just want to do donuts. And the donuts just slide down the stick. And they slide down the stick. You could use skewers, like, you know, the barbecue skewers. You could use whatever you have. Super easy. Look at this. Thread them on. Oh my gosh. Done. We're doing this at so my family for party. room mom too, right? Oh yeah. Oh, we might have a little crumble. Yeah, Hold on. Crumb, they do crumble a little bit. This is so fun, Michelle. Isn't that cute? Yes. Another one that I loved doing as a room mom is having the kids, they get a lot of candy and treats mm -hmm. in their classroom, mm -hmm. is taking these clear cups. Okay. And then oh. just, I know, putting on your face. Oh my gosh. With a little bit of a Sharpie. Right on the cup? Right on the cup, Brick. There is okay. a pen. Do you want to draw okay. your face on yeah. there? I want you to be able to see so that. So there is a pen. Okay. Draw on your face. Then you just put in the little um, ghost, which is the white napkin. Oh my goodness. And then they can fill up all the treats that they get during class time and take that home. And it's really, really charming. I mean, it could not be any easier. That is so to do simple that. and so cute, Michelle. I Great know. job. Super easy. Okay, what else? So I how fun is it when they come to your house at Thanksgiving and everything's so beautiful or Christmas? Do it for Halloween. Set it up. Set it up. Set up your dining room table. Paper plates are like phenomenal these days. We don't even have to get out the place. You we introduced to me to the company Sophistaplate. Is yes. that where these are from? These are My Mind's Eye, which Just is a cute. local company, which is super cute. Yeah. And they're adorable. So you can get those at Zuchers or Zuchers or whatever that store. And, you know, all, names. all the things. Mm -hmm. And paper plates. Easy peasy. It looks like you spent, you know, all day on your cute little table settings. Put a little hat there. Put a popper. Did you You're make good these? to go. Yes. Poppers are really easy too. So this is just a paper towel roll uh -huh. and I just covered it with any cute little paper if you want a hot glue ribbon on it or little poppers. But you gotta be saving those paper towel rolls. Those yeah, you gotta say, rolls. you can't be running around at the last minute like I'm like, Tanner, go grab a paper My towel. mom, the <laughs> most amazing kindergarten teacher to ever hit a kindergarten classroom, always has a bag of these at her yes. house because she knows the craft project is coming. It is, yes. and you need to have them. Mm -hmm. But then you just wrap it up in some tissue paper. Okay. So super easy, then shove it in. You might have to do oh. a little bit of shoving in so there. So the candy's in here? The candy's inside there. You just wrap it up. You look shove it in there and look. So cute. cute. So you can reuse those. They can take the little middle out. You can put them at the plates. It's You can personalize them. It's super charming. This is adorable, the way you've lined this, and you're right, glue. just some simple leftover yeah. scraps. Leftover ribbons, cute. paper, glue, 
to do. We need to remember this for not just Halloween, but Thanksgiving, Christmas yes, too. Yes, every adorable. holiday. These are so cute for every holiday. Love and it. Even gift cards fit in and there. And you've gone extra with some yeah. of these. Yeah. Yay! So the funnest thing I did this year was my witch's hats down the middle of my table. Oh, what a great idea! Like a, a, a vertical centerpiece. Yes. Kind of. I usually hang them from the ceiling, but I thought this year. I'm just gonna run them down the middle. Yeah. So I did put them up and they stayed for like a day in my pictures. They looked really cute. Uh -huh. And then they started like flopping over a little bit. They got sad. So they got sad. So I'm gonna tell you two ways that you can keep them straight up on your table. Okay. So the first way, if you have it, is the batting. So fill it up with batting. It doesn't make weird shapes. I did crumpled paper, but it kind of had a weird shape. It had to its it. own ideas. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the batting works really great. Okay. It stays up. Everything is dreamy. Okay. The second thing I loved to do, or what I did actually first, and it worked great, are these, of course, the dowels that I had because oh, yeah. that's what I was using. Okay. So I just stuck the dowel right in the middle. Oh, did you glue it? No. Oh. I just stuck it in there. It just self So it was staying up. So I thought it's going to tip over because the dowel is so Wobbly. tiny. There's no yeah. base to it. But if you put something heavy, on the witch's hat, like a pumpkin or a decor uh -huh. or something like that, it really stabilized it. It keeps and its shape. Yeah, it kept its shape way better than anything else I tried. Great trick. So skewers or dowels or anything that's straight, a ruler, whatever might work, straight up and down, and then just and run them down the I'm middle of your table. I'm just smitten with the idea of a witch hat as a centerpiece. I mean, hello, it takes up the circumference that we need. They're so cheap. They're so store. cheap. Yeah, or Amazon for a couple of bucks. So inexpensive. I'm doing that too. My Rolodex is getting yeah, full in my mind. so easy. It's cute. And then just little things that make it a little cute is just have like all your treats or your plates in a cauldron. If you welcome your cute little grandbabies with this on your head, Give it you're to the, us. like the winner grandma, right? <laughs> or mom. Like if your kids come home from school and you're like, kids, yeah. Yeah. it is like treat time. <laughs> They're gonna say either mom, you're a dork, or no, they're, they're gonna remember that their mom was silly and cute and loved them enough to do this. They'll probably say both. You yes. are a dork and you were you loved me yeah. enough to do this. I'm just starting to feel the pressure. My kids are old enough now to say, and you know me in Halloween costumes, it's not my thing. It's, uh, but I'm feeling the need to work. do it for them. That would work. One thing okay. is all you need, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah. this You're is good fantastic. We like to say pick one idea, pick two yep. ideas, and hopefully your Halloween house feels this special, this simple, and this magical. Michelle, thank you so much. What's You're coming welcome. up for you? Well, we are finishing off Halloween. Yes. And guess what? We're starting on Christmas a little early. Don't worry, I will remember Thanksgiving. Yes. It will be there. But I've got lots of organizing tips, a lot of ways to get your holidays organized, and some fun decor stuff as well. We've got to get ahead of it. I know, we and do. And help us do that. The Glitzy Pair is where you find this beautiful brain and talented gal. We're so glad she's a friend of our show. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brett.